Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 125 and April 1st. Yeah, it's April Fool's Day. I would play a joke on you guys, but I never get political on here. But the truth of the matter is, with everything that's gone on the past three years, um, I don't think I could make up anything that you wouldn't believe. Because, holy crap, we have aliens, we have dollars crashing we have everything going on so it's in freaking sane uh, so I'll just leave the April Fool's jokes to um, the rest of the world and I'll just focus on me and what I got going on so with that being said it is Saturday morning it is a beautiful morning it was 68 this morning I looked at future forecasts for the next 10 days I think Monday we go up to like 93 and then we are in the mid 90s every day for the next 10 days welcome to april in florida but i'm not complaining i will take 90s over 40s any day anytime anywhere so i know mama badger is the same way anyway as you saw yesterday bikes are cleaned i've just got to replace her primary cover mama badger is going with nerdy badger to get a new tattoo today and she's hanging out with her for a few hours it's gonna be a big tattoo and uh you know after i get done with that i'm not gonna have anything real pertinent to do so i'll probably hop on the bike and head to arcadia for bike fest still haven't decided 100 percent, but i'm leaning more and more that way so anyway that's it. I'm going to go grab some coffee, uh, turn on the computer, get a little work done, and uh, come out here, get this done, and go for a ride. See you in a little bit. All right. Mama Badger is gone to do her tattoo thing, and I guess she's going to stay down in Cape Coral and do some line dancing tonight. So um, basically, the day is mine. All by myself. All right, so I'm gonna be all by myself today, uh, which is fine, which is cool. I uh, have plenty to do, and uh, when I'm not doing that, I can do my own thing. So anyway, um, first things first, I've got this gasket to replace. There is the new gasket. For those of you that don't know, this is a pretty simple, pretty simple procedure. There's a drain plug under here. Um, here's your inspection cover, um, and then uh, this is the cover. The gasket that I'm going to replace is in between here. And to get to that, you just have to remove all these bolts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, however many is across the bottom, maybe 10 or 12 bolts. Um, pull that off, um, clean it up, put the new gasket on, put it back together. Really one of the simplest things you can do on the bike that may be easier than actual oil change, um, just less pieces to do so it's pretty simple pretty easy uh, we'll get it knocked out here in just a few minutes and then uh, I'm gonna guess I will mount up on silver and head to uh, Arcadia for bike fest so anyway let's get the work part done then we can go play so I thought I would point this out with mama badger's gasket off of her bike it came apart see how it's splitting apart it's not supposed to be like that so the piece that was sticking out was actually this piece you can see how it's kind of sticking down um, and that's where it was leaking so I think that's a James gasket I'm not a hundred percent sure so I don't want to blame them totally but what a crap gasket um, do better so I've got a Harley one on there now they're um, like I really like their gaskets um, I don't know why I got that one maybe I got it in a kit or something but anyway um, I got a Harley one on there now we shouldn't have any issues but do better that's all i can say all right it's 11 30. mama badger's done i'm gonna run it around the block a few times warm her all up make sure she's good but i mean it's just a stinking gasket it should be fine um, and then i think i'm gonna clean up a little bit fire up silver and uh head to bike fest so you guys might as well go with me you got nothing else better to do on a sunday morning so let's go check out the bike fest all right work is done time to head to arcadia for bike fest it's been a few years since i've been there um like last fall they were going to have one and the hurricane canceled it and like uh you know 2020 happened and that canceled a few of them so i know they may have had one or two since i've been last but you know too many other things going on, I guess. So anyway, I'm going to run out and check it out today. 
Uh, I know there's a few people I know going to be there, so hopefully I'll run into them. Um, but first, old silver's got to start, right? This is the street behind it, and you can see bikes everywhere. Parked here, parked all along there, parked along there. Yeah. Even an Indian and a Victory are here. And uh, let's go over here and see what's going on. It's usually freaking packed, so I'm expecting it to be freaking packed again today. Turn you around so you can see what's going on. Looks like we got some food trucks and all here. Everybody's in line for that one. They must love the big wiener. Cajun boiled peanuts. More hot dogs. Hot dogs are really popular here. There's Born to Ride. Fresh squeezed lemonade. Got a band playing over here. Wow, I guess I should have pulled on Main Street. There's lots of parking over here. Usually this is all filled up. But, uh, Looks like everybody's parked off of Main Street this time. There's birds. Honestly, not very many people here. Birds has beer. Well, look at him go. Either that or they're just borrowing birds. Hey. What's up? What's up? It's Gunner. Didn't I you just her. have a birthday? Yesterday. Happy birthday, man. Thank you. You're what, like 21? Uh, yes. 21 again. Awesome. Yep. What are you guys doing? How's your, this is still your guys' event? It is. Cool? Yeah, it went well. It's really busy. I mean, you know, it, it starts dying down around 1, 2. But right? It was, yeah, there was no parking here for a while. I just got here, so I was like, hi guys. So that's Gunner from Burt's, if you don't know. I've known him, we were just talking about this, I've known him for like eight or eight years or so, from way back in the Fort Myers days. So I just wanted to shut the camera off and talk to him for a little bit. He said their tent's down here, so they must just be borrowing one of Bert's tents there. Anyway, he said this whole side, this whole main street was filled up, so they stopped letting people in. That's why everybody is parked outside of Main Street. But now that all the parking's opened, they've started letting people back in to park on the Main Street. So anyway, let's check it out. If you guys like like antique shops and um, stuff like that, Arcadia is a great place for that. They have all kinds of antique shops all along the strip. In fact, if you guys have seen our biker, Betty Boop, we got her from here. Uh, we just came shopping one day and uh, picked up some old stuff. So, like I said, if you like that kind of stuff, antiques, old stuff, uh, you should definitely come to Arcadia and check it out. I don't know if this weekend is the perfect weekend to do that because uh, you can't haul that much home on a bike. But uh, you can definitely come check it out. 
And then if you find something you like, buy it and come back and get it later. Here's an antique store here. There's an antique store there. There's one across the street. There's one across the street over there. I mean, literally just lined with them. So I found a couple of cool Harley pieces here, but uh, you know, I don't usually look for the Harley pieces on this weekend because you know they've stocked up and they've got them priced at the top. So as you know, I'm pretty cheap. Anyway, let's keep walking. Definitely a big wheel. Sir? Here's bird set up. Oh look, it's leather. Hey. Hi young lady, how are you? How is the Bagger family? We're doing good. Alright, I had to talk to Leather for a few. I used to work with her at Burt's. She's a super sweet girl. If you're in motor clothes, go look her up. See what else we got around here. Got some tumblers, shirts, Amsoil's in the house. Killer jewelry. You guys can see, it's just a little motorcycle rally. It's about like a typical bike night for Florida. Anyway, I think I'm gonna shut this off and just uh, walk around a little bit. If I see something cool, you guys will see something cool too. See in a few. All right, so I found the bike show. Let's see what's in the bike show.
so I found out I'm on my own tonight. Um, so I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store, get a big old piece of salmon. I'm gonna have, I love the way I cook my salmon, so I'm gonna cook salmon for supper tonight. And uh, hang out, maybe watch the rest of uh, the F1 on Netflix. All right, salmon has been acquired. Hey, I got some chocolate chip cookies too. Don't tell anybody. That's what you get for leaving me unsupervised for the day. All right, so I guess I'll just go relax for the afternoon, evening. Watch a little F1, the TV show, the Netflix series, or the Netflix series that goes behind like F1. I'm a car guy. I'm a motorcycle guy, but I'm a car guy, a truck guy, any kind of mechanical shit guy, I'm him. So um, pretty interesting because there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff and um, you know, just not a race, but um, stuff on the other side of the racing, which is what fascinates me. Anyway, enough. BSing. I'm headed in the house. Alright. Silver is all shined up and ready to go. I went down the rabbit hole. Like I would see one thing and be like, oh, that needs cleaned. Oh, there's a spot there. Oh, I better get the metal polish out. And so on and so forth. But, you know, she's been in the shop. She hasn't had any care taking care of her. So she needed a good cleaning. She is cleaned. So something I found out today, though, while I was uh, working on my bike uh, is Gremlin Bell. Do you guys run a Gremlin Bell? So I usually always run a Gremlin Bell. So let me tell you my Gremlin Bell situation for my silver bike. So I lost one last year. Karen from Ireland sent me one. That one ended up getting taken off. And then I was given one by Mandy the Machine. Well, here's what's left of Mandy the Machine's bell. Yeah, I got the Dinger. Is that what it's called? And then I got this bell up here. I don't know if you can see it. Um, my mother-in-law, Granny Ma Badger, she bought that for me. And uh, it was just so big. It was really cool, but it was big. And I knew if I put it on the bottom, it would get destroyed. So I've had it up there for a few years now. And uh, the dinger is actually missing out of it. So if I have the dinger down here and the bell up there, does that count? You tell me. Anyway. I guess uh, at some point I'm going to need a new bell. We'll see how this season goes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's it. I'm done working on silver. I am going to go eat some salmon and watch some TV and uh, edit this video. So we will see you guys tomorrow.